Let me just get my life together. Okay. Man, I look good. And I'm not going anywhere. That upsets me. Why am I shaky? What's happening to me? I'm upset. This is a trying to stuff video. We're gonna start now. Now. Action. Hello, folks. Um, how are we doing? Today is Monday. I wanted to film today mainly because it's a really, really nice day outside and I just feel like I would really regret if I did not work on today. Um, on today, I'm such a preacher's life. The past few weeks have been really crazy um, and I just need an outlet. I need to do something creative because if I don't, I'm just gonna sit on the couch and wallow in the mud all day. And I wanted to do some makeup. Uh, I'm sorry if my energy is very low in this video, but I am... <laughs> Flo is in town. She came around the mountain. Uh, she's fresh and hot and ready, like Little Caesars. Suffocating, dying, slowly, a slow and painful death. Um, I've got my cat ears on. I don't know if this is cat ears. I hope this doesn't look like devil ears. I really hope my dad doesn't watch this video because he's gonna be like, take that off your head. What are you doing? I'm a mouse, duh. I think they're cute. I think they're cat ears. We're just gonna go with that. But I'm gonna go ahead and record because I just got some stuff in the mail and I've had a list of things that I need to try for trying new stuff so I can share with you guys some of my new makeup finds, some of the new things that have just come out, some of the new launches. So I need to share this stuff with you guys before it's no longer cool because stuff moves fast on YouTube. You gotta be on it. You gotta be on it, okay? Um, I'm gonna start with primer, obviously. Uh, last video I tried the Fars Holly primer. I've really been liking that. Um, so I'm kind of sad that I'm not going to be using it in this video, but we need to try new stuff, don't we? I actually have two primers here from Huda. One I've already used. This is the Matte Perfection uh, Pro Makeup Base from Huda Beauty. And then I have the Complexion Perfection Pre Makeup Base right here. So I'm going to try this one because this one is different. This one's Moisturizing, uh, Skin Smoothing, Nourishing Properties, Extends Makeup Wear. Um, apply dime size amount to face using fingers or dense brush can be used alone or as a pre makeup base for hydrating and skin smoothing yes so this one sounds a lot more like me I am not a mattifying girl you guys know this so mattifying primers don't really speak to my heart Jesus we talk about our health updates and things like that and my gaining weight on all of that stuff that I've been trying to do eat better get my body right right so I'll put on this primer, I'm gonna talk a little bit about that. I am gonna be doing a health update. I've been saying that multiple times. However, I just started um, the test that I'm doing. So I wanted to give you guys a rundown on that. I wanted to start it before I actually uh, make the video because I wanted to kind of like tell you guys what's happening and what's going on and what I'm testing for and all that stuff. Um, oh, okay, this is smooth. I'm like hormonal and weird right now. Like not happy, very emotional, very sad. I lost a family member and so um, and my family's in Texas, so it's weird for me to be not there. I want to talk to people and I want to tell people how I feel and I want people to like hug me and support me because I don't have my family to do that with. So I'm kind of just like, I need everybody's hugs. I need everybody's love. I don't know what I'm saying. Ew, Ugh, vulnerability, gross. Okay, so this primer, I like it because I put on two coats. Usually if I don't like a primer, I won't really put too much on, but I slather it on if I really like it. I like this. It's nice. I feel it. I'm feeling it. It has that really sweet, um, perfumey aroma to it. So I like that. I love the way Huda stuff smells. I'm sorry if you guys see a lot of boobage. Like lately, these past couple of, like maybe the past two months or so, my boobs have been large and in charge, honey. And I'm loving it. So I'm sorry if they're like in your face. But I warned y'all, this is why Jesus did not give me big boobs because I would be out here in your face all the time. So I've been wearing a lot of low-cut tops. <laughs> the girls are here and they're not playing games. This is the first time I've ever had jiggly boobs. I've never had boobs that moved. I do, I purposely do stuff so that they can move. The primer, okay, yeah, so the Huda complexion, blah, blah, blah. It's really good. Okay, uh, moving forward, um, I'm gonna use it again. Ooh, Kobe, hey! This is the Can't Stop, Won't Stop um full can i put on some highlight first because i really like when my face is highlighted so i'm gonna use the flesh i've already made a video about flesh this is the flesh uh what is this called illuminating drops something like that in the color whisper if you guys want to see um the video about flesh beauty you should go watch it 
um, because I worked hard on that video and a lot of you watched it and I'm in my feelings. I love their products. I don't care what anybody says. I love their products. They may not be like beat your face for the gods, you know, makeup or whatever, but I like it. So I'm going to wear it. That's that. Gives me a nice glow. Um, mm -hmm. Um, this is the Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation. Went to Nick's store. I have a Nick's store near me. It is $15, I believe. This is the color um, mahogany. Yeah, I mean, I've been trying it for maybe the past two weeks. Every, almost like every other day since I got it. Um, so this is low-key like a review. Um, it's a matte foundation, full coverage. Um, it wears amazing. It stays put all day. It doesn't crease. It doesn't slide off your face. It doesn't get too oily. Um, it definitely has a very nice finish, which I like. It's lightweight. I'm actually gonna use this NYX foundation brush. This is actually for the uh, the total control drops, but I'm gonna just use it as a foundation brush. Um, so the way I picked my color, I went to the store and I literally, I pretty much just went through like every, um, well, first of all, I saw what Alicia's shade was because usually I'm a shade a like one shade darker or one shade like it's weird it's hard to explain it like we're the almost like the same shade as far as deepness because I'm not sure why because I feel like I'm darker than her but a lot of times our foundations either they match or they are a little bit like hers are a little bit more warm and golden and mine are more like olive um but we usually are around the same tone as far as like medium deepness goes because she wears medium deep foundations. So her foundation shade didn't work for me. It was definitely a shade too light for me. So I went down maybe two shades. There was another shade. It was a little bit more neutral on the neutraler side. Um, but the girl in the store said it would look ashy on me. And she was correct because this one, it, I felt like in the store, I felt like this one was too warm. Like it would be too warm for me. But it actually is perfect. I really like it and i haven't had any problems with it so that's the foundation it looks really good i don't have any new concealer ah, yes i do cover effects sent me their new power play concealer um these are the shades they sent me this is power play concealer all day wear crease proof full coverage power play concealer maintains the high performance beauty standards cover effects is known for in 30 inclusive shades after all being true to yourself is what makes you you conceals and instantly brightens under eye circles redness and discoloration weightless creeps proof ophthalmologist tested and hyperallergenic clinically tested vegan and cruelty free um basically it's a concealer <laughs> oh here's the all the shades it's like a shade guy that they sent me to like help me pick out my shade or what else normally i am g80 in the foundation uh g80 g90 so my concealer shade would be g medium four and or g deep two contour is in deep four and highlight is g medium three all right so this is g medium four which looks like it'll be kind of light um and then the highlight or the contour shade that they sent me is p deep five which isn't a good contour shade for me because this is the contour shade for like the deeper shades i believe this is the darkest shade that they have actually so i'm probably not going to use that to contour um so this is the doe foot applicator a little humpty hump and i'm just gonna dot it on so we're gonna try that out <laughs> i didn't wet my beauty blender um should i use a brush or a beauty blender i'm gonna use a brush to get the full maximum potential of this concealer man i feel like crap girl but we pressing concealer brush this is a smashbox creamy cheek and i'm just gonna blend that in the coverage is nice it's not super thick um as far as thickness goes the thickest concealer i've ever tried is tarte shape tape this is not on Tarte Shape Tape level, but the coverage I'm getting from it is actually really nice. What else is there to say about it? It's doing its job. <laughs> I don't know, it's only my third day out here, I don't know. I'm gonna put a little concealer on my eyes because I know I'm gonna wear eyeshadow. I'm gonna try to use this deep, dark contour. We all see, just to give me a little contour. I mean, this is the contour stick that I use from Flesh. So, I mean, they're not really like far off as far as the shades. So, I should be fine. One, two, just two dots is all I'm gonna use. Ooh. 
Probably should use one dot. Yeah, I probably should have used one dot. This is not a good idea. Don't try this at home, kids. Nah, guys, I can't do this. Get it off! Get it off! That was not a good idea. I'm gonna go over with my normal contour shade and just hope for the best. It's like randomly hot today and I'm not sure how to feel. Like, it's supposed to be fall, but it's 80 degrees outside. Like, does anybody else get productive when they're on their period? Because I definitely do. Like, I just be needing to like do something. Stay down, sis. You gotta stay down. Ride or die. Oh shoot, I didn't set my concealer. Uh, okay, so so far my makeup is not going as well as I would hope. I'm gonna set with um my setting powder that I've been using, which is the Huda. Um, I'm gonna use the shade Kunafa. Should I use it? <sighs> so lately I've not been feeling how yellow Kunafa is because it's a very yellow powder. You guys. It wasn't recording. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I'm about to cry. Oh my god. Okay, so I don't know what I missed, but why didn't you tell me you stopped recording, sis? Okay. Y'all, I was freaking out. I thought that I didn't get all that footage that I was just recording, but I did. False alarm. Uh, the powder that I used is Blondie by Huda Beauty. Um, I was just saying that I don't like the Kunafa color as it is too yellow i just looked at myself in the mirror and my contour is a weird dark color i don't i would not use this pea color if you are any type of golden do not use the pea shades on your face because you will come out like burnt not cute so i'm gonna go over it with my anastasia bronzing powder because it will make it a little bit more warm i'm just gonna dust that on top i'm gonna be real chiseled today should I do my eyebrows first? Probably so. I don't have a new eyebrow pencil, I don't think. So I'm just gonna use what I have. You guys said you wanted to see Urban Decay over the Desi Katie palette and the new Desi Katie stuff. So I'm gonna do that today and then I'll just do the get Desi Katie stuff on another day. Cause I kinda wanna try the, the new Urban Decay stuff. It looked really cute in the package. So I just thought I'd, <laughs> I thought I'd do that one today. So this is the new Urban Decay Naked Cherry package that I got in the mail today. It's a big old cherry. So, let me open it. Try not to get all of this stupid paper everywhere. I hate these papers, y'all. This is the worst part of PR packages, is this paper that be in here. What the up though? Where'd the sun go? Five, four, three, two. <laughs> in this package, I actually have a list of things that came in this package, and I just dropped it. Ah, I just dropped the papers. Ah. Um, this is the Urban Decay Naked Cherry Eyeshadow Palette. If you are naked, a naked palette fan, then this will probably be really exciting for you. They also sent me two eyeliner pencils, one in the color Love Drug and the other in the color Black Market. Those are the two shades, it's like a grayish shade and a burgundyish shade. They also sent a highlight and blush palette. This is the highlight and blush palette shades. Three lipsticks. This is Devilish, Juicy, and Cherry. Cherry scented all nighter long lasting setting spray. You know, I'm really excited about this. This is a cute package. This is very cohesive. Um, I love that they used um, the cherry thing in the actual setting spray. That's cute. I'm gonna keep this. I don't know what I'm gonna put in it, but I'm definitely gonna keep it. Shadow palette looks like, we got it on this sheet right here. It retails $49, available at Sephora, Ulta, Macy's. It's got 12 shades, blah, blah, blah. So the Glide On Eye Pencils are 21, highlighting powder is 34, palette is 34, lipstick is 18, all nighter setting spray is 15. Uh, it's a travel size setting spray, it's not a full size, which works perfectly because I needed a new travel size setting spray, so. Ooh, this palette is pretty. Look at that packaging, that's gorge. The palette, I'm also gonna use the brush because my brushes aren't really clean and I wanna use the brush. I'm gonna use the shade Feels with this blending brush. Ooh, that's a lot of pigment. Uh, and I'm gonna blend that on my lid area. I'm actually gonna blend it all the way up. Normally when I wear pinkish eyeshadows, I, I typically wear them all over my eye. I just really like to wear pink all over the eye. I don't know where I got that from, but 
that's what I like to do. So I'm just going to blend this all over the eye and all over the crease, all the way up to my brow bone. I'm actually going to blend it a little under my eye too. And when I mean a little, I mean a lot. <laughs> I don't have anything super special to do today, so I'm just going to play around. If it doesn't turn out cute, we're crying. So it better turn out cute. We're just going to circle around the eye with this color. And I'm going to go in with a darker color. I'm going to use the color Devilish. And I'm going to like kind of like start on the outer corner here. Mm. These colors are really pretty. Work that way into the crease. And I'm going to put that on the inner corner too. Right here. So I'm just kind of packing that color on the inner and outer corner and then I'm connecting it. I'm just playing. We're just going to keep playing until we get it right. You need to get it right. So these shades are really pretty. I don't know if I showed you guys up close, but they're really pretty. I want to take one of these shimmery shadows. Um, I think I'm going to take either Young Love. Uh, let's swatch it. This is Young Love. That one's really pretty. I like this one too. This is Bang Bang. Bang Bang is a little brighter. Hmm. I think I'm going to do Young Love. I actually feel like this would probably apply a lot better if I just use my finger. I think this is cute. I think I've got a good look going on here. We need some highlighting, so I'm going to use the other end of this brush. I'm going to take Bang Bang, which is this color right here. I'm also going to take some of Bang Bang and put that on top of this other color. I'm just going to blend those two together. I'm going to take this color Turn On in the inner corner. Putting that on my brow bone. This is the eyeshadow look so far. Uh, I think it's cute. Um, this is the Love Drug eyeliner. I'm kind of just going to use this on the lower lash line. Not in my waterline, but like right below it. Deepen that lash line just a little bit. I'm also going to put on a little bit of white eyeliner. You guys know I love white eyeliner in the waterline. I'm gonna use the NARS Climax Mascara. I was waiting for all my false eyelashes to fall off so that I can actually like get a good use out of it. But this is the Climax by NARS. And <clears throat> there we go. <laughs> I keep this case because I like the case. This is the mascara. I love the packaging of this mascara. I think it's super, super cute. I've tried it a few times and it is really nice. Um, it's not like super juicy. Um, I like the applicator. I feel like it's not like overbearing and like covered in product. Like the cover is not, the, the product is not like super goopy or whatever. I never really know how to describe the differences between mascaras, but there's a difference. Like the formula is different than other mascaras. It's not like super thick and I don't know. It's not like clumpy or whatever. I don't know. It makes your lashes look like they're naturally full and it doesn't look like Oh, you have on a ton of mascara. I don't want to wear falsies. I'm going to wear falsies. I don't want to, but I am because I know if I don't put on falsies, the look won't look the way I want it to. So this is the highlighting palette, um, the Naked Cherry Highlighting and Blush, excuse me, Highlighting and Blush palette. This is what it looks like. These are the colors. As you can see, this one is more golden. And then this one is like a more opalescent. I'm definitely gonna go for the more opalescent. I wanna put a base down first. Um, this is Kaja Beauty and it's a newer brand. It's like a Korean brand. Uh, they have a highlight in here. It's, these are mochis and they're so cute. And the mochi glows are apply light cream, dries to a powder, use fingers to highlight cheeks, brow bone, and cupid's bow. Um, these are available at Sephora. This is what the highlight looks like. It's kind of got that opalescent glow, but a little bit of gold with it too. I'm just gonna highlight with it. This is the color Prism. It's so pretty. Look at that. That's so cute. And I'm really a fan of applying highlighters with my fingers now. I used to just be a strictly brush gal, but it just 
sinks into the skin a bit better. So that's the Mochi Glow. Super cute, love it. Now I'm going to use the highlight and I'm actually gonna use this Sephora brush. You guys always ask what this is. This is the Featherweight Blending Brush. And just lightly dust that over top of the Mochi Glow. That's pretty. Girl, where am I going? I gotta go somewhere looking like this. So I'm gonna use this blush color. I'm just gonna kind of stamp it and blend backwards. I'm also gonna blend some of that on my temples because why not? Okay, so the highlighting and blush palette is cute. Would I buy it? No. I would buy the, the makeup palette, but I wouldn't buy this blush palette. Um, just because I have a lot of highlights and I don't really see myself using this a whole lot. I mean, yes, I am a makeup hoarder, but at the same time, I know what I would buy. I kind of feel like I wish they were like separate, like individual products because I would buy that one color. Um, I think for the cohesivity of the look, it's perfect. Um, but unless you're gonna just do looks like this every single day, is it worth it? Probably not. But I'm gonna try the style um, Blue Hawaiian, and this is your lash bar. Who, by the way, we made a video a while ago, like back in July, we made a video together and she finally uploaded it. It's our story of how we became friends. And so you guys can go watch that video if you want to learn more about um, our amazing friendship and how we became friends. So, all right, one lash on. Being an adult, uh, it's just so difficult. Like there's always something that pops up or happens and I have a lot of stuff going on this month, but everything keeps changing and I'm just like, on my lips, I'm going to do uh, one of these. Um, the Two of these are metallics, and then one of them is a cream. This is cherry. It's cherry. Juicy. This one is more sheer, but it's got like a shine to it. So I feel like, can y'all see that? Devilish, which is this one. It's a pink metallic. So I actually like that wish. That's cute. So I think I'm going to do an ombre lip cherry on the outside and then I'm going to do devilish on top. Just kind of. That's cherry. Cherry is pretty. Ooh, that's a pretty lipstick. Ooh, y'all, I need to go somewhere. Where am I going? I never look like this when I want to. I guess I never have five hours of my day to spend doing eyeshadow, so maybe that's why. Last but not least, we're gonna setting spray the heck out of my face. And it smells like cherries, so why not? Um, but yeah, this is the finished look, you guys. Let me get close up so you can see. Before I leave this video, I did wanna share with you guys that Fenty Beauty sent me this package in the mail um, and it is all of their new lip colors and I, ha I had already bought all of them. So this is the lip colors, all four of the new ones. And isn't that package so cute? It's magnetic. If you are a subscriber of mine and you watch all of my videos, um, and you follow me on Instagram and Twitter and you keep up with me, you will be winning this, this set of the Fenty lipsticks. So in order to enter, all you have to do is check the description box. I will have a Google form in there and you can fill that out. Give me all of your information, um, your social security number and all that. Um, just give me your info. Uh, you just have to give your address. Um, I'm going to pick somebody at random, so it's not a contest or anything. Um, but yeah, the winner will be announced on Instagram stories. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, make one and follow me so you can know if you win. It also comes with this little booklet of all of the um, colors and stuff. So if you're a Rihanna fan, you may be excited about that. It's already boxed up and ready to go. So check the description box for that. Um, but I do love the lipsticks. If you guys want me to do like a little swatch video, I may do one for IGTV. My favorite one so far is actually, believe it or not, Uncuffed, which is not a normal color for me. It's a mauve nude. 
like a rosy mauve color. I never wear lip colors like that, but this is the only one that's ever looked cute on me. And I actually really like it for the fall. So other than that, if you guys liked this video, give me a thumbs up to see more trying new stuff. I'll talk to you guys in my next video, hopefully when I'm feeling a lot better. So see you guys. Bye.